Oh, he's the shove it man. Oh, he's the shove it man. He's gonna shove it. Yeah. He's gonna shove it man. All right, who's ready to be screwed? It's time for a whole new episode of Feud. This is the show where we watch back a specific feud as chosen by you guys, the Shove It Squad. We've not done one of these for a while, but I'm pretty pumped for today's choice. So I'll ask you all once again, who's ready to be screwed? It's time for the Tessa Blanchard Sammy Callahan feud. Now some people flat out hate this feud and what this feud accomplished, and other people say it helped create a whole new level of respect for women wrestlers. Whatever your thoughts, let's all watch this feud and see if Tessa Blanchard was deserving of what happened when this feud ended. And also let me know down in the comments, do you want to see Tessa Blanchard back on your screens for a major company? The first thing I'm going to say is Tessa did well. I think she came off as a somewhat believable person in a man's world. It helps that she is in incredible shape and looks like an absolute nutcase. And Sammy Callahan is in poor shape, but he still looks like a nutcase. But we're going to see if our opinions differ once we've sat through this entire feud. The way our feud begins is Sammy Callahan is the death machine going through hardcore matches and barbed wire death matches. Sammy Callahan would hit Fala Bar with a roll of quarters and try to hit Scarlet Bordeaux with it too, but Tessa Blanchard comes to her rescue and she hits Jake Chris with Magnum. Tessa goes on to have a heated argument with Sammy Callahan backstage and Tessa would beat Jake Chris in a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Sammy tells Tessa, you want to be treated like an equal? Right before he boots her right in the face. But Tessa doesn't give up the fight. That leads to our very first matchup, one-on-one. -on -one. It's at Slammiversary 2019. It's Sammy Callahan taking on Tessa Blanchard. It's actually the main event of the show too. Tessa comes out for her entrance but quickly walks backstage and she pulls out a personal bat to compliment Sammy's signature bat. Sammy is sat at ringside during Tessa's entrance and he's very displeased. The crowd is chanting for Tessa, ain't heard one of those for a while. We get a stare down for a little bit before Tessa starts throwing some forearms and she takes down Sammy Callahan with a total world arm drag. Tessa jumps off the middle rake for a drop kick to Sammy off the apron and she hits a suicide dive. Not once, not twice, actually not thrice as Sammy catches Tessa and swings her into the barricade. He also delivers a Death Valley driver on the outside. Sammy gives Tessa a power bomb on the apron and walks back into the ring with a smirk on his face. Tessa counters a power slam attempt now into a net breaker, but is quickly cut off by a boot from Sammy. Sammy tosses Tessa to the ramp and he blows a snot rocket at the referee. He looks for a power bomb off the stage now, but Tessa counters and hits a cutter off the ramp. Shades of Terran Terrell and Gail Kim. Sammy and Tessa keep pulling each other back from crawling out of the ring and they both beat the count at nine. Sammy demands that Tessa hits him. She obliges and he flips her off and says, is that all you got, bitch? This causes him to give her a punch to the gut. Tessa looks to hit Magnum on Sammy, but Callahan rolls towards the ropes and she rolls through and then nails Sammy with a Turk World DDT for a two count. She's looking for a buzzsaw DDT now, but Sammy rolls through and then rolls Tessa into a butterfly shoulder breaker and a knee. And a shortly after that, a power bomb. Tessa ends up in the STF. These two are at war here, the rivalry is certainly heating up, it's only the first match. Sammy goes to the top rope and he looks for a top rope pile driver, but Tessa kicks his legs out in the corner and hits a DDT. Sammy is able to kick out at two. Blanchard starts wailing on Sammy in the corner now, but she elbows the referee and then there's a ref bump. Sammy takes the opportunity and hits Tessa with the Callahan slugger, but he only gets a two off that. And then he takes out a second referee as well. Sammy starts taunting her on the mat with a bat in his hand. Tessa spits in his face and gives Sammy a low blow. Tessa picks up the bat and she hits Sammy in the gut with it and she climbs up to the top rope and she nails Magnum on Callahan. It's only a two. Soon after, she rolls Sammy into a crossface. Sammy tries to hold on for a while and eventually he pulls Tessa up and hits the cranial contusion, but Tessa kicks out too. Sammy dumps in his nappy of frustration. Tessa does Sammy's taunt in his face and Sammy says enough and he nails Tessa with the cactus special and that time he does get the free. Amazing match. I love the hatred between these two. This is how a blood feud should begin and especially building up Tessa into an equal even though she lost the match. After that match, Sammy kicks the referee away and starts dinging both of the bats together as Tessa backs into the corner. Sammy gives Tessa her bat. I thought he was going to smack her, but it seems like it's a sign of respect from Sammy. It's all starting out good. Though now they're friends, I guess. On an impact, Tessa Blanchard and Sammy Callahan team up to take on Dave Crist and Trey Miguel. They have a lot of respect for their performance at Slammiversary. And in this pre-match promo, Sammy ends it with Tessa as a professional wrestler to another Let's do it again. This match is a tournament match and the winner of this tournament will face each other one-on-one -on -one for an Impact World title opportunity. But despite the respect, they still seem to not be fully getting along. Sammy Callahan and Dave Chris are going to begin this match, but the crowd want Tessa. This match is confusing because it's almost a fatal four-way match with tag rules of everyone attacking each other. In the middle of the match, Tessa starts arguing with Sammy Callahan and wants him to get in the ring, but Trey Miguel hits a super kick on Sammy. Callahan then returns to favour with a big boot of his own on the floor. Sammy goes to tag in Tessa, but he flips her off instead of tagging, and Tessa gives him one right back. Tessa tags herself in, and Sammy gives her a body slam onto Trey Miguel, but it's only a two. Now Sammy chops Tessa in the back for the tag. Tessa then body slams Callahan onto Miguel. 
After avoiding a superplex, Trey pulls Sammy down off the ropes, gives him a super kick, and then swings around for a 619. Trey goes to the top for a boot stomp, but Sammy moves out of the way, and with that slight hesitation, he tags in Tessa. Tessa's a house on fire and hits a cutter, and then a code breaker out the corner, but that's just a two. She looks to hit Magnum, but Chris counters and gives her a Death Valley driver into the corner. Trey and Dave work together, and Trey nails a scorpion kick and tosses Tessa to Trey for a DDT, but Sammy Callahan breaks that up. Big Total World DDT on Trey for the double down, and then Sammy Callan takes up Day Chris for the apron. And Sammy spits in Trey's face. Tessa's the legal person and hits Magnum on Trey Miguel, and Sammy tags himself in and gives Trey the cactus special for the win. It was a decent tag match, the beginning was sort of confusing, but it got better as time went on. These two clearly respect each other, but also hate each other. This leads to the third match of the feud, which takes place on the same night of Impact as it's that tournament. Sammy Callahan and Tessa Blanchard versus Eddie, Slapnut Edwards and Moose versus Jake Chris and Wentz versus Michael Elgin and Willie Mack. Sammy tags Tessa in immediately to begin with Eddie Slapnut Edwards. Moose starts lighting Sammy up with some shots. Sammy grabs Moose by the balls. Moose gives him a DDT in return and Eddie Edwards comes back in. Edwards boots Sammy off the apron and Michael Elgin gets the tag. Edwards dodges a clothesline and gives Callahan a suicide dive. The match begins to break down near the ramp and eventually we get things back in order, but that just leads to Elgin being sent over the top. Moose then lifts his partner in the air and power bombs him into everybody on the outside. I feel like that just hurts Slapnut Edwards more than anything else. Elkin gives Edwards a buckle bomb and then an Elkin bomb and he eliminates Moose and Edwards. Wentz and Elkin then begin to brawl in the ring. Jake Chris tags in Sammy and he starts to gouge Willie Mack's eyes. Willie Mack hits a Simone drop, which I'm actually okay with, and then a kip up and a standing moonsault, but Sammy kicks out at two. Tessa and Elkin start staring each other down in the ring. Sammy pushes Tessa out of the way before he eats a punch. Elkin gives Willie Mack a clothesline and leaves the match. Sammy Callahan takes the opportunity to hit the cactus special on Willie Mack for the elimination. All four remaining competitors exchange blows in the ring, and our wrestlers eat a double super kick, but they recover and hit double super kicks of their own, and Wentz hits a springboard cutter on Callahan. Tessa nails a buzzsaw DDT on Wentz, and Dave Chris gets in the ring and gives her a spin kick into a Death Valley driver, and Callahan has to break up the pin at two. After some back and forth arguments between faction members, Sammy pokes Chris down, but Chris tries to roll Sammy up. Jake Chris eats a boot from Sammy and then Chris hits the combo of spin kicks on Callahan before Tessa can get the tag. Callahan gives Chris the cactus special and Tessa follows up with Magnum and they get the win. These two have actually gone on and won the match. Is that a first for Feud? This was alright. Lots of setup for the next pay-per-view match and that is certainly apparent here. Tessa's next match is teaming with Tommy Dreamer to take on Ohio vs Everything. Tessa woke up and chose violence and she and Tommy Dreamer go after OVE before the bell rings and eventually they take them out of kicks. Tommy Dreamer looks for a suicide dive but stops and hits a double clothesline off the apron and, sh and shortly after Tessa gives OVE a cannonball sent onto the outside. We come back and Tessa and Tommy are wailing on Chris on the outside and they both spit beer over EVE. Sammy feigns mercy and holds his hands out for a handshake but, but Tessa ain't buying that and she trips Chris into Sammy's sack. Chris slingshots Tommy Dreamer under the barricade and looks very ineffective. Dreamer dumps Sammy to the outside and looks for the tag to Tessa but Sammy pulls her off the apron before he can make it. Tessa does eventually get the hot tag and hits a cutter on Callahan and starts running to the opposite corners with elbows on OVE. Tessa throws Chris into Sammy in a DDT position and Tessa hits a net breaker DDT combination. That was cool to see. Dave Chris hits a boot on Tessa in the corner but she comes back with a magnum out of the corner. Sammy breaks up the pin by attacking the ref. Does it still count as a ref bump if he's on the ground when he got attacked? Tessa and Tommy eventually hit double DDTs on OVE but there's no one to make the 1-2-3. There's no need to pee. OVE counter out of double power drivers, but OVE counters with double low blows, but it has no effect on Tessa. Sammy Callahan has a kendo stick now and he whacks Tessa in the back with it, and eventually Tommy moves out the way of a kendo stick shot. He nails a cutter on Callahan, and Tessa lights up Chris with the kendo stick and hits a super magnum with a kendo stick, and she picks up the win for her team. You know what, this match wasn't bad either. So far, all the matches in this feud are at least C tier. We're doing pretty decent for this episode of Feud so far. And we're back on pay-per-view now. It's Unbreakable 2019. Tessa Blanchard versus Sammy Callahan in a number one contendership match for the Impact World title. Before the match, Tessa gives a passionate backstage promo about how this is not only the World Championship, but she has a lot more to prove after her loss at Slammiversary. There's a long stare down that begins our match as these two wait to throw the first shot. What heats it up is when Sammy does his thumbs up, thumbs down thing and Tessa flips him off. Tessa nails a cutter on Sammy and Sammy tosses Tessa to the outside. She starts to do a running start and spears him through the ropes for a two. Tessa hits another cutter and then a drop kick to knock Sammy off the apron. Sammy gives her a smack before she can dive. Tessa doesn't care about the smack and while his back is turned she hits the dive. She's looking for a hurricanrana now but Sammy catches her and again slams her face first. Not once, not twice, but thrice. It sure wasn't nice. He throws her into the barricade and walks away. Now Sammy targets Tessa's leg for a bit and he swings her leg off into the ring post. 
Tessa is defiant and spits in Sammy's face. Sammy then tosses her into the ropes. Sammy has a modified STF locked in on Tessa, and then he keeps wrenching on her ankle, and as Don Callis says, she's like a pretzel. Tessa starts clubbing Sammy Callan with some shots, but he cuts her down with a punch to the gut. The audio for this event is terrible. You can't hear anything in the ring, and all of the commentary is only in the right ear. It's like I've been smacked one. Tessa connects with the Tornado DDT off the ropes and hits a full Nelson face buster. Sammy gets the kick out. Sammy catches a magnum attempt now and he hits a Samoa Joe style shin breaker. He locks in the figure four for a little and Tessa is able to maneuver it in her favor. And then Sammy gets the rope break. Sammy tells Tessa to hit him and she does. He calls her a bitch and Tessa takes one more shot and spits in Tessa's face. Don Callis is going nuts on commentary and swearing at Sammy Callahan. Wasn't expecting that on 2019 TNA commentary. Tessa's again begging to be hit and Sammy obliges and he destroys her with a clothesline. Callahan pulls Tessa's dead weight up and Tessa slips out and hits a wobbly Samoan drop. You know, I hate it when some wrestlers use the Samoan drop. It should just be saved for Samoans and fat guys. And Tessa Blanchard is neither. Tessa climbs to the top rope again. And Sammy stops her on the top. He looks for a superplex, but Tessa hangs on and tries for a powerbomb. But Sammy also holds on. Tessa doesn't let up and she delivers the powerbomb out the corner for a two count. She then rolls into a crossface. Tessa hits a super kick on Callahan and she nails a magnum on Sammy. She climbs to the top for a super magnum and she hits it. Bird times the charm as Tessa looks for Magnum again, but Jake Chris comes down to ringside and Tessa hits another one. Jake Chris is distracting the referee and he tosses the X Division title to Sammy and Sammy hits Tessa with the belt, but it's just a two. No hesitation for Sammy though and he hits the Cactus Special on Tessa for the win. Storytelling was great in this match. These two are always fun to watch. Match six is another tag team match, but it's a street fight match. It's Ohio versus everything versus Tessa Blanchard and Tommy Dreamer. The street fight begins with a fight on the ramp between the teams. All four competitors are clashing on the stage when Dreamer and Blanchard do a little do si -do spot into clotheslines on OVE. Sammy lifts up Dreamer and body slams him onto the entrance ramp and that's a lot to lift. Tessa catches a super kick on the apron for Chris and sweeps him face first into the apron. Now Tessa hits a running runner off the apron. Sammy Callahan begins to clap on the stage, staring down Tessa, and the fight begins. Sammy gets the upper hand with a big strike. He goes for a big power bomb now, but Tessa catches herself and hits a cannonball sent on Callahan. Tessa Blanchard gets Jake Chris with a dive and another until Sammy Callahan takes her down with an uppercut. Callahan pulls out a staple gun now and he tries to use it on Tommy Dreamer and a struggle begins to get the gun. Callahan goes for a sunset flip, but Dreamer catches himself and he staples Callahan in the chest twice and then staples his ass in the corner. And to add insult to injury, staples his nuts out. Double bionic elbow on Jake Crisp, and then both Dreamer and Blanchard deliver stereo drop kicks into the corner of a chair in front of OVE's faces. Double cutter and a double kick out too. Jesus, there was a lot of double things in this feud. And we're not talking about Tessa here. Tessa gets smashed with about 50 moves now, but she still kicks out too. Chris looks for a superplex, but Callahan gets sent under Chris, and Tessa gives OVE a crossbody and an electric chair combination. Blanchard nails Magnum on Chris, but Callahan hits him with the Callahan Slugger. Dreamer comes in for the save with the kendo stick. The rest of OVE try to get involved, but that allows Callahan to hit the power driver on Tommy Dreamer for the free. This was probably the weakest match so far. Not really much about Tessa hanging in with the whole roster. After the match, Tessa starts attacking OVE with a kendo stick. And when Madman Fulton doesn't go down, she kicks him in the nuts and smacks him with the stick. Sammy soon nails Blanchard with a chair, knocking her down. And he looks for a pile driver. But then all of a sudden, Rhino and RVD come to their aid. How random. ECW reunion part 47 in TNA. RVD and Rhino clear the ring of OVE and help Blanchard and Dreamer up to their feet. And we have our next match set up already from that. And the seventh match in this feud will be an eight-person street fight. Tessa Blanchard, Tommy Dreamer, RVD, and Rhino versus OVE. Josh Matthews says that our Motley crew is like the Avengers, I guess. This match starts out crazy. It's going to be hard for me to get my hawk brain around it all. RVD hits a spinning heel kick and the rolling thunder on Callahan in the corner. Blanchard nails Christopher Magnum in the corner and dives to the outside onto him. In the ring, Dreamer sends Chris away with the Scott Hall special, the sack of shit. We don't get to see our two subjects for this feud until later on when Fulton sends Jake Chris over the ropes for a back body drop on top of everyone. Tommy Dreamer then ascends to the top and he nearly slips off, but then he takes out all the competitors. That was scary for a second. RVD and Callahan start fighting in the ring and all of a sudden RVD dives over the top and takes out the wrestlers again. In the ring, Tessa Blanchard stares down Callahan and Blanchard swears at him. She hits a cutter on Callahan. Dave Chris stops Blanchard from going to the top rope and we get a superplex onto everybody. Good lord, everyone's falling down like dominoes in this one. Sammy catches Rhino with an exploder, but Rhino catches Sammy with the cab driver slam. The cab driver slam, it's over. Actually, it's not. Everyone starts giving each other moves until Fulton nearly gets the pin on RVD, but Blanchard breaks it up. 
Tessa ducks a clothesline twice and delivers a total world DDT on Fulton as she looks for a magnum before OVE deliver a military press cutter combination. Never seen that one before, it's just the two though. Dreamer and Rhino look to put Jake through the table, but Callahan gives them a low blow and he looks for a pile driver, but Dreamer counters with a groin claw. Rhino gores Chris through the table and RVD follows it for a frog splash, but Tessa grabs the kendo stick and locks in the crossface, and she gets him to tap. Not really much of a street fight, was it? Kinda tame for what we could have gotten. Next up, we've got an Iowa street fight. Sammy Callahan versus Tessa Blanchard. Tessa comes to the ring strapped with a staple gun in her jeans. We start out and Tessa immediately wails on Callahan and she hits a cutter straight away. He fakes a dive now and starts stapling the back and chest of Sammy. Sammy throws her the double bird, so Tessa tries to staple gun him and he counters and he staples Tessa in the ass. Sammy presses her hand down and staples her hand to the mat and he staples her armpit. Jesus, that's brutal. Sammy says, I'm gonna get a snack and comes back of a whole pumpkin. And I ain't talking Billy Corgan. Sammy tries to smash Tessa's head with the pumpkin, but she moves out the way and tosses Sammy over the barricade. Tessa sets up a chair now and she leaps off of it into Callahan in the crowd. Sammy drops Tessa with a sidewalk slam onto the bleachers. Tessa kicks Sammy into a fan. They set up the chairs for an old-fashioned fist fight. Tessa and Sammy give each other a smack. Now Sammy puts the chair on Tessa's leg and picks up a plastic skeleton at ringside. He breaks his bones over the chair. Callahan tells the fans to move and lifts Tessa up for a powerbomb. Tessa goes for the Huracarana, but Sammy swings her into the barricade. I guess she'll never learn. Now Sammy tosses a couple of chairs into the ring. He puts Tessa's leg into the barricade and smacks her leg with the remaining skeleton bones. He picks up the skeleton's arm and high fives a fan with it. He now sets up a piece of plywood in the corner and Tessa hits Sammy with a Samoan drop. Yeah, that's Tessa starts swearing at him again and she gets Sammy's boot in her face in return. Sammy looks for a razor's edge through the wood, but Tessa counters and spears him for it. Now she's looking for a magnum, but Sammy hits her in the gut for a chair. Sammy sets up a chair bed and then he ends up pile driving Tessa through the chairs. Surprisingly, that's not the free. How is that not the free? Sammy pulls out the Callahan slugger and he's about to pull off a Slapnut Edwards incident on Tessa. All of a sudden, Brian Cage comes to the rescue and lays out Sammy, and Tessa takes advantage and hits Magnum for the win on Callahan. This was a pretty chaotic street fight. It could have gone a little longer, but it sure was brutal, especially the pile driver chair spot. Match 9 is also an 8-person street fight. Tessa Blanchard, Tommy Dreamer, Darga, and Rich Swan versus OVE. Why are we doing this again? We also see that Callahan has won his opportunity for the Impact World title. Dreamer interrupts OVE's promo, and Dreamer calls Callahan an internet troll. Callahan responds, calling him Fat Dreamer. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fat Dreamer. Yet again, the match breaks down before it can even begin. Callahan drops one on the apron of a back suplex. Blanchard holds a chair in front of Jake Chris' face and Dreamer gives him a drop kick. Some things happen in this match that don't involve our guys. So we get back on track when Callahan tosses Darker over the top rope. And this allows Rich Swan to take control of a Rana and drop kick. Blanchard gets in the ring and Callahan already knows what's about to happen. Tessa counters a close eye nails a cutter on Sammy and a cannibal sent on on everyone to the outside. Tower of Doom time as Tessa power bombs Fulton and Swan off the top. Double lethal injection on Sammy and Jake from Rich Swan. Sammy looks for the cactus special but Rich Swan is able to counter and roll up Callahan for the free. Again, not much of a street fight was it? Match 10 is just a normal tag match, OVE versus Tessa Blanchard and Rich Swan. Madman has Sammy on his shoulders during his entrance with the slugger and the Impact World title is in his hands. We kick it off with double kicks on OVE. Swan nails a spin kick combo on Fulton and Tessa hits a backstabber on him. Now Tessa dodges Sammy's shot and runs off the ropes but Fulton grabs her and it allows Sammy to hit a brain buster. Swan hits a big hurricanrana off the top on Sammy and looks for the lethal injection but OVE counts with a double reverse suplex. Madman Fulton works on Rich Swan for a little bit until Sammy hits a top rope splash for a two. He wants to go for the pile driver now but Swan rolls through and gets the tag to Tessa. Callahan spits in his own mouth and Tessa hits a Simone drop on Callahan and a DDT on Fulton and then a cutter on Callahan. She's going for Magnum, but she's caught and tossed into an elbow by Madman Fulton, and they hit a power slam suplex combination on her, but Rich Swan breaks up the pin. Poor Swan gets the tag and takes out Callahan for rolling DDT, and Blanchard dives onto Fulton and gets some help from Swan. Big handspring moonsault delivered from Swan onto Callahan, but it's just a two. Sammy shoves his greasy fingers in the eyes of Swan, and he picks up the slugger, but that allows Fulton to toss the world title and hit Swan with it for the free count. This match was pretty slow as well, probably the worst match of this video, even though it's pretty decent. After the match, Sammy hits Swan with a belt, and Tessa comes to his rescue, but, but all that gives her is a title shot to the face. Brian Cage appears and gives an F5 to Madman Fulton, and we move on to our second to last match of this feud. It's an elimination tag match. OVE versus Brian Cage, Rich Swan, Tessa Blanchard, and Willie Mack. 
Rich Swan and Dave Chris will start us off. Eventually Tessa gets into the match and Jake Chris begins working her over. Some time passes and Sammy gets tagged in and takes off his hat as the crowd chant, we want Tessa, and they oblige. Tessa flips him off and Sammy does his taunt and that allows OVE to jump Tessa and the match begins to break down. Tessa and Swan clothesline Fulton to the outside. OVE take a second for a huddle outside the ring and they begin to slam the ring mat. One guy claps along. Swan dodges a bunch of attacks from Callahan and ends with a somersault into a dropkick. Callahan holds Swan up and Dave Chris gives Swan a sent on from the top. Swan's hurt his leg though and he's carried to the back by the referee and Willie Mack. Sammy, Callahan and Tessa are staring at each other from the opposite corners. Fulton ragdolls Tessa up and Sammy takes a shot at Chester's chest. She swears at him yet again. This gets chants from the crowd of Sammy swallows. Tessa starts to fire up but Dave Chris hits Tessa in the back of a kick off the apron. Tessa eventually gets the tag to Willie Mack off a Total World DDT and Willie Mack counters Callahan with a Samoan drop and a big Willie Moonsault. Fulton takes out Cage and Tessa off the ropes and Chocolate Thunder takes out OVE of the dive. But shortly after, Jake Chris hits Mack with a dive. It's not over as Brian Cage flies over the top and takes out OVE. Cage stops Dave Chris from doing a dive and he suplexes him onto everyone on the outside. Blanchard appears and nails Chris with the cutter. Dave Chris then spins Tessa out of a knee. Willie Mack looks for the stunner, but Sammy manages a low blow and gives Mack the cactus special, but he doesn't go for the cover. Yet again, Tessa stares Sammy down as their upcoming championship match is a mere days away, and the tension's higher than ever. Tessa hits a suicide dive on Sammy and he spits on her. Tessa gets pissed and they continue to fight to the back. We then get the announcement that both Sammy and Tessa have been eliminated. Well, that was anticlimactic. The match is eventually won by OVE when Madman Fulton eliminated Mack. About three weeks before their big match at Hard to Kill, there's a confrontation. Sammy says he's beat asses in every single company he's been in and he didn't need his daddy to get him a signing. Tessa storms to the ring but Fulton attacks her and Sammy gives her a punch to the gut. Then Ken Shamrock comes to her rescue but to no avail and Sammy and Tessa fight to the back again and they begin brawling all around backstage. Sammy accidentally smacks out a backstage guy and then he tosses Tessa face first into a trailer. Tessa and Sammy are absolutely full of hatred and start fist fighting on the ground. Sammy wraps Tessa in police tape and starts choking her out. Where the hell is security? Tessa jumps out of a truck into Sammy on the street and, and the crowd starts chanting Holy Hawk. Eventually the fight does get broken up. So Sammy Callahan ends up winning the world title against Ken Shamrock and Tessa confronts Sammy for it. Sammy believes that Tessa stole his moment from his world title win. He gives us an insight into his real life character as he says he became the person he is today because his parents died in his 20s. Tessa says she was trained with guys so she feels like that's where she's supposed to be. In her element. Sammy says he likes intergender wrestling. He thinks that it should be just be professional wrestling. Tessa is frustrated because Sammy is so talented and hates how he chooses to act the way he does. She's not stepping into the ring with Sammy Callahan. She's stepping into the ring with a death machine. He guarantees he will walk out as Impact World Champion. Sammy slaps himself and tells Tessa to bring him everything she's got. So here we are then, the big match of the feud, the final match of the feud. It's Sammy Callahan versus Tessa Blanchard at Hard to Kill 2020 for the Impact World Title. Introductions are barely finished before Sammy boots Tessa in the face and gives her a cactus special. Tessa kicks out at two. Right away I'm intrigued by this one. Sammy looks for a superplex but Tessa bites him in the forehead and shits a magnum on Callahan but Sammy's able to kick out at two as well. A double one to take a sit up from these two and we have a head to head and they start to exchange strikes. Tessa ducks the line and gives Sammy a drop kick to the outside and she delivers a suicide dive. She tries it three times but the third one is almost counted into a power bomb. but then she switches that into her karana. Now she climbs the top rope and hits a cannonball sense onto the outside on Sammy. That doesn't seem to hurt too much because Sammy drives Tessa knees first into the barricade and he flips her off and gives Tessa a Texas handkerchief. Sammy tells Tessa to hit him and when she does, he lays her out of an elbow of his own. Tessa continues the shots but Sammy absorbs them with his fat and gives her the Samoan Joe Shinbreaker. Tessa tries to unload with strikes but Sammy gives her a smack. He pulls her outside and looks for a pile drive on the outside but Tessa counters and gives him a super kick. Sammy manages to catch her apron her Karana attempt and power bombs her for a table at ringside. Tessa manages to break the ring count at 9 and Sammy removes the padding on the floor. Tessa and Sammy brawl on the apron with shots and eventually Sammy starts shoving his thumbs into Tessa's eyes. Tessa does the same right back. Tessa climbs the top rope and she hits Magnum on the apron on Callahan as both our competitors are down on the outside. More swearing, there's a lot of swearing in this feud with Tessa begging to be hit. Sammy obliges with a chop. She gets right back up though and asks for another one and she gets it. Now Sammy fakes her out of a chop and instead hits a super kick to the knee. He can't hit his next move because Tessa catches him with a Samoan drop. Sammy's ankles are kicked out in the corner and she hits Magnum on Callahan, but she only gets the two. Tessa climbs the top rope and she goes for Magnum again, but Sammy moves and drops over a butterfly shoulder breaker. Tessa kicks out at two. 
Now Tessa boots Sammy in the corner and ducks a clothesline nails the cutter on Callahan for yet another two. Sammy responds with a set out power bomb on Tessa for yet another two, but this time he catches her leg into a stretch muffler type hold. Then Sammy switches her into the STF and starts pulling her arm back from the rope, but Tessa's able to get a leg on the rope. Sammy starts getting desperate and he picks up the Impact World title as the ref tries to wrestle it away from him. Sammy tries to use his brass knuckles as well, but Tessa returns the favour with a kick to the balls. Tessa's up on the top rope now and hits Magnum on Sammy, but after the two, she rolls him into a crossface. Sammy has to bite her hand to get her off and he gives her a cactus special, and again Tessa kicks out the pin. Sammy shoves his middle finger into her face, and after eating a pump kick, Tessa hits Sammy of the Destroyer and goes to the second rope for another Destroyer. She finishes it off with the Buzzsaw DDT and Tessa Blanchard has picked up the Impact World title, forever changing history in TNA. She is a woman in a man's world. Look, after watching this feud, I think that Tessa definitely deserved this Impact World title win. She was more than capable of being treated as an equal against guys like Sammy Callahan. This feud also did quite a lot for Sammy of him being the most hated man in TNA, and Tessa was able to bounce off that heat. It made her a somewhat believable babyface that everybody really wanted to see dethrone Sammy, and, and the storytelling in most of these matches was stellar. Sammy Callahan also had a great villain persona and a posse to go along with it, as the addition of OVE gave the one-on-one -on -one matches between Sammy and Tessa even more speciality. I thought I was going to have a problem seeing a woman hold the Impact World title in a man's world, but I think it depends who she's feuding with. I think it can be realistic if you have the right opponent. Now if Sammy Callahan was Moose, I wouldn't buy that. But at this time, there wasn't that many sort of big main eventers in TNA. So having her in that scene isn't a bad thing. If she's getting the crowd reactions, why not? She's popular enough to be in that spot. Tessa could have been a trailblazer for all the divisions being unified with no gender boundaries. I mean, this was TNA in 2020. Anything could have happened. March would eventually come along, and we all know what happened in March. Due to travel restrictions and her alleged bullying and backstage heat, she'd get terminated whilst being the Impact World Champion, and she'd never be seen in Impact again. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Feud. And if you want to be screwed, leave a comment down below for who you want to see in a feud. And if you don't agree with that, I'll make your girl nude.